pattern should be having for example facing surface whenever we do facing operation its cut portion would appear like this another example if r is written instead of d over here like this below this symbol capital r is written it means what it means that grains left by the cutting instrument are virtually radial with respect to the center of the projection plane of the drawing where the symbol is entered like this they should be radial in nature so cutting should be made like this and pattern should appear like this so that is the value of meaning of drawing r at the place of d in this symbol this is the meaning of surface roughness this is exaggerated view of the surface roughness if we cut any surface it enlarged in a in a view the enlarged view would appear like this there may be some peak and some valley peak valley peak valley like this this kind of surface would be there if we measure the surface roughness with some instrument say here stylus is used this pointer is moving over here so the pointer wave may move in this direction from peak to valley to peak to valley so this will be the path of the stylus shown by dotted line and this is the actual surface shown by black colored line so there is a difference between stylus path and actual surface and instrument will show the path of stylus here this is an example of a surface roughness this is the length say here 0.4 mm so this is sampling length within which the height is measured the peak height is measured in this case this peak height is 0.5 micron in this case it is 0.6 micron so that is the value of ra this c and d are achieved c is achieved with lapping operation d is achieved with finish grinding similarly e having 3.5 3.8 microns so more wavy surface so difference of this height is 3.8 micron done by rough grinding operation and f is the turning operation 5 micron is the height height of this total peak and valley or 200 micro inch into bracket shown is in terms of inch but we are using si system so we need not to bother about that inch parameter because we know 1 inch is equal to 24.4 25.4 mm so we can convert this millimeter into inch or inch 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 into millimeter as well now about surface texture what is surface texture so this is the enlarged view of a portion cut from any object this is the surface achieved after finishing finish surface drawn by this black colored line and this wavy surface is original surface and this is the extra material provided to produced a desired surface finish so before preparing before doing machining operation the actual surface is this one shown by original surface wavy line after doing machining operation this is the finished surface like this right this is another example of surface texture and some taxonomies some names here you can say if this is an enlarged view this curvature shape this height means difference between this topmost and bottommost portion this height is called as waviness height or true height it shows the waviness of the surface this is typical flow scratches these are the scratches or typical flow this is the lay direction of dominant pattern this along this axis these lines this height indicates peak to valley roughness average and this length is called length of sampling any length of sampling can be taken to show the value of roughness of any parameter sampling length roughness width cut off instrument cut off this value depends upon the cut off value of the instrument if the instrument is moved from here to here 
this length will remain same, but it will consider some other portion of the object. So, generally to measure roughness value of any surface, the instrument is moved at few places to have average value of roughness of that surface. This is typical roughness width shown over here and total is waviness width from here to here shown over here and meaning of line surface roughness is shown over here. So, this is the indicator indication of surface roughness of any uh, surface. Now, roughness value parameter as we shown R A value was written in the previous cases. So, what is the meaning of R A value? parameter and meaning. If it is written R A, it means that roughness average millimeter or micron shown in terms of height of the peak and uh, uh, valley, valley difference. If it is written R Q, R Q means root mean square value, RMS value means square root of all y's. In R A, in first cases y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus 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 y n divided by n. So, average of all height all y's is r a, but in case of r m s value the square root of square of all y is to be considered say square root of y 1 square plus y 2 square plus y 3 y 3 square and so on. So, that is then uh, to compute r m s value and divided by n. Third is r t at value of r you may read it may be written that r t. So, r t means maximum height of the profile r m or r v in some countries r m is used in some countries r v is used. So, it means that maximum profile valley depth r p m means average maximum profile peak height shown by r p m and r p only p is written it means that maximum profile peak height average is not there. Some other parameters are max that means maximum roughness depth R c means maximum height of profile irregularities R y indicates maximum height of the profile R z I s o means roughness height height of the roughness which is shown in the drawing and R z means average maximum height of the profile. Now, roughness symbol, roughness grade number and roughness value in R A. This is very important because in some drawings roughness values are shown by micron, in some drawing roughness values are shown by n and in some drawing reverse triangle is drawn. This is first symbol shown by just slant s. In this kind of roughness symbol, the roughness value is in terms of micron that is 50 micron means over the surface this symbol is drawn it means that it is a rough surface having 50 micron value and in some countries in some drawing N 12 is written. So, N 12 means its surface roughness value is 0 point is 50 micron. In the second drawing, second symbol, a reverse triangle drawn like this, its roughness grade numbers are N11 and N10 and roughness values in RA in micron is 25 micron in case of N11 and 12.5 microns in case of N10. So, you can see here as we proceed further from N12 to N11 and 10 and n 10 its roughness value decreasing by half here 50 to 25 25 to 12.5 now third symbol two triangles are there so meaning of this two triangle means the roughness grade varies from n 9 n 8 and n 7 so they are reducing by one unit similarly here the roughness value half itself here 6.3 for n 9 3.2 micron for N8 and 1.6 micron for N7. So, this, these are three symbols. Fourth symbol is three triangles. The triangles are increasing by number. 
so more the triangle more will be the smoother surface or lower will be the roughness value as you can see here if three tri three triangles are there the roughness grades are n6 n5 and n4 for roughness grade number n6 roughness value is 0.8 micron for roughness grade number n5 roughness value is 0.4 micron and roughness grade number n4 roughness value is 0.2 micron now you can project these parameters from n4 to n3 and n2 if four triangles are drawn over here four triangle means n3 n2 and n1 four roughness grades are to be covered in this and appropriate roughness values are 0.1 micron 0.05 micron and 0.025 micron respectively so we can see here as the number of triangle increases the roughness value reduces and surface finish increases so the surface would be much more finish if number of triangles are more this is the indication of surface roughness in a given drawing one drawing is given here two triangles are drawn here one triangle is drawn here one triangle is drawn and two triangles over here so here which surface should be much smoother can you imagine here one triangle is there here two triangles are there of course more triangle means surface is more smooth so this portion this inner surface and this outer surface should be much smoother than this surface and this surface because here one triangle is there here two triangles are there so roughness value at this two triangles would be lower now second topic of today's discussion that is geometric symbols and its interpretation what is geometric symbol as we know the two lines may be parallel to each other perpendicular to each other similarly surfaces of any object may be parallel to each other perpendicular to each other or they may be at certain angle some holes may be drilled the holes may be circular in nature they may be oval they may be concentric or their axis may be parallel to some plane or perpendicular to some plane so how to indicate the values of those parameters that is indicated by geometrical symbols that we are going to discuss right now these are the geometrical symbols this covers individual features type of tolerance is form tolerance the first symbol is straightness drawn by just a simple line a small line it indicates the straightness of the surface how much the surface is straight by nature that is shown by straight line then flatness symbol of flatness is like this i shown over here how much the surface is flat by nature then circularity and cylindricity are to be drawn by these four symbols so these four symbols are very much important and basic symbols which are used in drawings then related features include orientation run out and location for orientation three symbols are there one is shown over here that is angularity the second is perpendicularity and third is parallelism so this shows in which direction the surface is orienting means two surface are at certain angle which angularity should be maintained either they should be at certain angle they should be parallel to each other or perpendicular to each other so for that these three symbols are used respectively similarly for run out this is the symbol which indic which is which means that it's a circular run out or total run out for circular run out one arrow is there for total run out more number of arrows two arrows are there then third related feature is location the location of any object in that this is the symbol that indicates the position of the object this symbol then this symbol indicates the concentricity of the circle or any circle circular uh, object and 
this symbol indicates the symmetricity or symmetry of the object or symmetry of hull or symmetry of any rib or any portion and any of these two that is individual feature or related feature the profile tolerance is would be like this profile of the line it may be like this or surface of a su profile of a surface it is shown by this a semicircle like this so these are the geometric symbols which are used in drawing practice this is uh, this is the overview tolerance form and position symbol just a line circle or curve straight this line indicates straightness or flatness this indicates circularity and this symbol indicates accuracy of any profile or accuracy of any surface tolerance of position this tolerance is are for position parallelism for this perpendicularity for this this symbol indicates angularity this symbol indicates position this symbol indicates coaxiality or concentricity and this symbol indicates symmetry of the object now circularity symbol where it is used how to show this circularity symbol in the drawing that is shown over here this is the symbol of circularity and this is an object having two diameters it is cut over here you can imagine the shape of this object like this this is front view this is side view or this is front view and this is side view here it is the circularity of this diameter is shown like this arrow here arrow symbol of circularity 0.0001 and a and here it is shown this is a so by this symbol what do you mean let we start from a what is a here these two surfaces indicate a this symbol is for circularity and this 0.001 indicates microns hence the circularity of this hole should be in terms of 1 micron or 0.001 mm hence the variation in the diameter of this surface should be within 0.001 Zero zero one millimeter or one micron. Now, second is the straightness symbol. This is the symbol which is used to indicate the straightness.